Yeah. What's your name? Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Nice to meet you, brother. Hey, guys. We're back here in Portland, Oregon with Colby. How's it going, Colby? I'm all right, man. Good, good. Um, how's your day been? Uh, good, good, yeah. Uh, I woke up this morning a little rough. I'm okay, yeah. Um, where'd you sleep last night? Last night, uh, I slept uh, on a sidewalk in a sleeping bag, and uh, I just recently lost my spot. It's my fault. I uh, neglected the, the spot I was in and uh, messed it up. That was my mistake. Uh, some drug use. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, I'm out here. It's, it's, it's all right. What kind of drugs, bro, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it, opiates. Opiates, yeah. Um, what drug do you consider, like, the hardest one to get, uh, to let go of? Today was a very strange day. How's I, that? I, uh, every time I heard, like, you know, like, a certain name of a drug, you know, like an opiate, it, I'd feel like a kind of, like, a little, like, uncomfortableness, you know? Today, I was hearing it, and it was almost like I was lost. Like, I didn't even want it. And I, I, I went and got it, and it was like, I felt it, but like, I'm losing, I'm losing the sense and want for it. It's, it's fading away, like, I, I'm almost just like, don't want it. I, I, I'm sensing what it's doing. Uh -huh. doing what, is it? what is it doing? I feel like, if there's a man out here that's poisoning himself, and people are doing it, it could be doing that more and more, obviously, because people are selling and sharing their, right. you know, and they're, they're uh, selling dope, you know, and it's making it a bigger bigger deal, you know. If I'm selling dope, uh, it's like that, then it's spreading dope around here. It's causing a plague. For sure. More, more people out here doing that is doing that, man. And uh, it doesn't make me feel good if I was doing that. And uh, if I cleaned up and was doing some shit like you were doing, For sure. this shit would help out and change. For sure, man. It makes a change, yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, fentanyl would be a big one. The fentanyl? Fentanyl, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that, that seems to be a popular one now. There's not a lot of heroin out there, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot of fentanyl going around. Yeah. Um, do you have any children? I have a son, yes. Do you ever, do you get to see your son? I don't. You don't? I don't, no. Um, do you I have plans to be able to try to see him, you know? I do. That's good. I That's do. Good. I definitely do, man. I definitely do. Um, what kinds of struggles do you go through being out here in the streets? Uh, well, this is a pretty cool city, man. Um, I like the city a lot. I like the people here. Um, maybe the struggles are, are with myself, and my drug use, you know. But I'm 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 getting so sick and tired of it. And it's, it's not mainly just me, it's mainly what I'm seeing going around when I'm using them, it seems like, man. And I, I don't want to think like that, but it's just like, wow, it's the strangest, strangest dang thing, dude. And like, I'm getting, I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it, and I'm learning how to like feel, feel better without them, you know? Uh -huh. I want to feel alive. I want to feel alive, functional, feelings more. I don't want to be a numb guy, you know, yeah. doped up, you know, that's just like, yeah, fuck, excuse me, uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. yeah, forget that, yeah. How do you feel that individuals view homeless? Individuals view homeless? Yeah. Man, I'd hope they'd view them as people, you know, that had situations that happened to them, you know, they're struggling, man. For sure. Yeah. How do you feel that homeless treat other homeless? I hope that they'd treat them like people. Good. Yeah. Have you ever had uh, any homeless like try to like fight you or do anything like that? No. 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 It's been really respectful. Everybody. That's good. Hey, yeah. sir. Just a question. Uh, your ear looks like you have a cauliflower, like an MMA fighter. Yeah. What, what I, happened? I, I used to wrestle back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. My dad. My dad was uh, uh, in the military. He's he was an athlete himself. He wrestled, and so I I, I, I skipped skipped uh, coming home one day, and he's like, "Where were you at?" My mom was like, tell your dad where you're at. I was like, at wrestling practice. Thought I was in trouble when I was a kid. Uh -huh. He was like, yeah. So, and it was cool, man. And I, I got really heavy into that for like 13 years. Did a bunch of clubs and stuff. And my best friend, Jarrell, headbutted me in the ear really hard. And it was a ping pong ball. And I, I drained it out and got to that. But I, 
I was like, you punk, man, you got me, you got me, my best friend. <laughs> yeah, you got me good. Were you in the military? No, oh. no, no, no. I just hunted with my dad a lot, looked up to him a lot. And uh, I was, I just, I'm out in the street right here, so I just, I just got a jacket and some army yeah. pants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what, what? My, pa- my, my, my pops passed, and I was just thinking of him a lot, you know? And yeah. I was thinking of times with him, and I just, that's what was in my mind. I feel it. Um, what message do you have for the youth about homelessness? The, the, the youth about homelessness? Yeah, the youth. Guys, stay in school, listen to your parents, stay off drugs, do the best things, don't party hard and ride hard, man, because what you do, and be humble, be humble and kind to people because it'll get you a lot further in life than being cocky and rock and rolling, man, you know, and and, uh, treat people with respect and treat people equally because, uh, yeah, that it, it, you, you got to earn respect and like that, man. And people, sure. people will treat you how you treat them, man. Um, what's like the craziest thing that you've seen out here in the street? Craziest thing? Yeah. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, I had a gun stuck to my head. I seen people getting kicked with boots. Stuff lit on fire. Uh, windows broken out. Why did you have a gun stuck to your head? What happened? I don't know. Some dude. I was just walking down, calling me the street, and he said. Son, you need to calm down. He stuck a gun to my head. And I I looked at him and I said, you need to calm down, man. I, I barked at him and he, he just said, fuck this guy. And went back in the car and drove off. Wow. I, yeah, I was like, this guy, is, this guy, I know this guy from jail. And like, he's too good of a dude. He's not going to shoot me, man. Um, you mentioned you, you've been to jail. What, what have you been to jail for? Yeah, just a DUI, reckless endangering, and uh, criminal mischief, possession. Oh, okay. Um, if your family gets to see this big video, what would you want them to know about how you're doing? I want them to know that your brother is alive. If the state of mind you think he's in is, is, is not fixable, it's, it's, it's very fixable. It's, it's just a short induced thing. I stretched it out with the underlying drug problem. I'm really sorry, guys. But have faith. I love you. I, I love you. I am right here. I am full of unconditional love. I'll take better care of myself. And and I want, I want you know, I, just, I want to have that fucking energy back that, that we had tenfold before, man. You know, and, and I love you guys. And know that. Please know that. Please know that. It just, I won't. I won't give up, man. I won't give up. I won't give up. And I love you. I love you. And uh, I want to let them know that I think about my dad a lot too. You I, said your father passed away, right? Yeah. Yeah. That that was the best man I know. He's a good man. I was very close to him. Um, would you be okay with me doing a follow-up interview in the future? It's fine. I appreciate it. Sir. Yeah. And uh, would you be okay with me posting this on my YouTube channel? Go ahead. Do you have an email or phone number where people can get a hold of you with donations? Uh, no, I don't really. Um, I mean, I got my sister's phone. It's up to you if you want to give your sister's phone. I don't think she would care, you know. I mean... If it's to help, you know, yeah, sure. I don't think she'd mind. What is it, sir? It's, um, I need to give, Heidi, by the way, I'm going to give you a call. I love you. Uh, it'd be 971-506-7995. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yeah.